Hello and welcome everybody. My name is Chris and today I'm going to be showing you how you can add Coinponent to your Webflow website. Coinponent is an embeddable cryptocurrency calculator that you can easily add to your website with a small snippet of code. To get started, head over to coinponent.com. Here you can either click on the button, seen here, or scroll down to this section. There we go. Um, now you can create your custom cryptocurrency calculator. In my case, I'm building a website dedicated to airdrops using the Stellar blockchain. I want to add Coinponent so my visitors can find out the fiat value of their airdrops in real time. So let's get started. As you can see, Coinponent is built with customization in mind. So I want to include this on my Stellar airdrops website. You can see here, as you can see, it's still very bare bones. I'm still building it, but this is the general theme of it. So I think in this case, a light theme would look good. I would want to probably hide the refresh button. I think shadow will leave it large, but we have small, medium, and large. I think I like the large the best. Then we can choose different fonts. Um, I think in my case, I'm going to go with mono space. I like that one a lot. Um, border radius, we can leave it four. That's fine. Units. Um, the units refers to this number here. So um, depending on what kind of web asset you have, what, depending on what kind of website you provide, um, you might want this not to be one Bitcoin, but you want it to change to 10 Bitcoin. Or by default, when it loads, you might want it to be 100 Bitcoin. Or maybe you want it to be um, 100 Ripple. Totally up to you. Depending on your use case, you might find it valuable to have the default units, 100 or whatever you want. Um, you can also fix the units. So if it's your intention not really to provide a calculator, but instead to provide an exchange rate at any one time, um, then you can just simply click on fixed units, put in the default units that you want, pick your currency, and that also works totally fine. In our case, we don't really want to do that though. So let's unclick this and put this back to one. And we're going to get the token. Cool. Um, so in my case, the website that I provide is very Stella oriented, so it doesn't really make sense to have BTC in there. Um, you could argue that there is some sort of utility in that as well, but for me, really, I want the component to seem like a native part of the website, right? I don't want it to seem like an ad or to, to, to seem like it's some sort of third party provider. Um, I want it to seem like it's a really natural part of the website. And for that to be relevant to my community, it really should only have Stella. So we can simply put in the code. And if for Stella, it's XLM. And then I want fixed token. So you can see here, the ability to change the token is now gone. Next, let's pick our fiat value. Um, by default, it's USD. We can change it however. I kind of anticipate most of the people coming to my website actually being from Europe. Um, so I'm going to pick Euro. Now, um, you can also pick the Great British Pound or you can pick the dollar. Um, you can also fix that. Um, in my case, I don't really think it's particularly valuable, so I'm just going to keep that unswitched. And then finally, we can look at the result. And I think for Stella, this is quite important because um, decimals uh, are quite important because Stella is not a particularly valuable currency. So one XLM is 0 0.09, but obviously it keeps going after that, right? It's not exactly 0 0.09. So in order to provide a really accurate crypto calculator to my visitors, I'll just increase the decimals from two to four. Perfect. Um, I think this is kind of starting to look really good and, and would look good on my website. So um, I'm going to kind of leave it there. The next step would be to get my API key. You can see here that the code is already provided, but we're missing the API key. And this is what we need to do um, here by clicking this button. If you click the button, get your API key, the next screen that you see is this one here. A really simple sign up page where you simply leave your name, your email address, and your website URL. What's very important is that the website URL corresponds with the website that you're actually going to be using Coinponent on. Um, don't put a different URL here, uh, otherwise the API key won't work. So pop in the website that you want. In my case, it was stellarairdrops.com. Password, confirm password, and get started. The next thing that happens is that you receive an email to your inbox. Um, super simple kind of registration email. Simply click on that, confirm your email, and then the next step is that you land in your dashboard. This is what the dashboard looks like. It kind of shows you how many requests you have already this month. Um, you can regenerate your key. And again, you can customize your component if you should want. Um, it will, however, store the information that you provided already. So um, yeah, it should come kind of ready like this. And you can see here the API key has been filled in. And you can simply copy the snippet to your, um, to your, to your clipboard. Cool. Um, so now we have everything we need already. Um, the component looks like this. The code is here. We've copied it to the clipboard. Let's head over to our Webflow instance. In this case, all we have to do is click on Add Element. 
scroll to the bottom, drag in this embed. There we go. Simply copy in the snippet, save and close, publish. Great. Let's go here, refresh. And there we have it. The coin component is visible. I think it looks pretty good. Um, all the settings that we have are here. Um, we can really easily just change it here as well. This will change the, 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 the code that is provided. Simply copy it to your, your clipboard again, and then install it here uh, and refresh the page. So as you can see, super simple to install. Um, I hope this was educational. I hope this was um, yeah, informational. Uh, thank you very much for watching and uh, speak to you soon.